Okay. A bunch of them. It's not right. All right, but it's you hold right a sign. Let's address your, sla- Let's your sign. Let's do it. All right? When You're protesters wrong. Compa- How's that? This? Yeah. Slavery, genocide is not comparable to a medical procedure. It's not. Uh, this is a medical procedure? Abortion is. Gosh, I hope you go to a different doctor if you consider this to be a where'd medical you go procedure. To, where'd, you, where'd you do a study medical? Where'd you, where'd you study? Because they're over here trying I to tell me. I got my doctorate at Los Angeles College of Chiropractic. What? At Los Angeles College of Chiropractic. Did you know? This yes, I did. Like okay. What's your name? Well, what do you need my name for? I'm sure you can what find you my name me for? easy enough. Name? I didn't ask you your name. Did I ask you your name? No, I'm asking you yours. I know. My name's Matt. Matt what? Matt. Matt what? Matt Tringali. Okay. And it's not called the Los Angeles College of Chiropractic now. It's called the Southern California uh, University of Health Sciences. Okay. But, but what exactly does that have to do with, you know, you asked me, where did I get my medical knowledge? And I told you. Why do you so need now, why do you what's need your next? Why, what, why do you need now? to record me? What does that have to do with your right, your your disagreement with the right of abortion? The right, the right to kill another person, the right to murder another child. You're gonna tell me. You're gonna tell me that you equate what you said. A zygo is, is when you guys believe that yeah. life yeah. begins. Yeah. Zygo no, no, is. no. It, it's not what yeah. we believe. Yeah, it's it's uh, what the Bible says. And what biology yes, has see, proved. Not everyone believes your religion, so I'm going to well, ask. So I guess not everybody it. believes in science either. Sure, clearly you guys don't. No, clearly it's you who doesn't. When does life start? I'll tell you when life. I'll tell you what I don't believe in. I'll tell you what I don't believe in, which is the Bible. And what? That's is fine. I didn't me ask you if you believe the Bible. You're out here I didn't ask you, believe you if you the believe the Bible. I asked you when does life start. I don't, I don't have a date for you. I don't have an exact time. I don't know exactly. Well, then maybe you should life. spend more but time no in defense. your science that's books no than standing that out no here defense. professing that, that no, you know that things. There is no argument that, that I can't define when life begins. For you to tell me that because your Bible says this is murder, you get to come to a public high school and dictate. That is not a defense for your so argument. He's basically, he's a God hater uh, and he's uh, ignorant. Yeah. Okay. I, I'd, because I'd like to. You actually a are a God hater. He is a God hater. Yeah. But what I'm not I do, I'm not yeah. coming to your yeah. church to pick it and say, yeah. Yeah. I believe this is different from your church, so now you have to switch to my belief. I'm not doing that. But that's exactly what you're doing to our school. You're out here because you believe in your Bible coming to my school that doesn't have a set religion, that is incredibly diverse, and you're gonna come and tell me because my belief is that this is murder, that you should you should but you should join in my belief. You should that's what you want, right? To us to come to So you your actually cause? don't even know why we're out here. Because you're just you're you just week. letting yourself I've been talking to you all week. So just tell me what tell me then, tell me why you're out here if it's not for that. We're actually out here to expose murder. Oh, just no one no one knows of the murder, right? It's well, been a, actually, it's been a you government cover up. Is that what you're telling me? Cargoes. Well, the, the government did cover up slavery. Cargo. I'm willing to defend that sign that you have. But you I'm willing to show you how. Yeah. To yeah. He, yeah. Want yeah. he asked me where I got my to, education and where I told them. Yeah. He shut up. Slavery. Do you would to exactly exactly? And let me. Exactly would you would you like would you like the answer to your sign? Yeah. Tell okay. me. Tell so me here. And slavery, the same thing, in, in the sense of slavery, what we had was a human being subjected based on the color of their skin, okay? A physical characteristic. The color of their skin made it okay in the eyes of the government because God's law wasn't instituted. It made it okay in the eyes of the government to own, kill, maim, destroy, rape. Ab- you said you said uh, hold on law wasn't instituted. hold on yeah absolutely because man's law was the one that was instituted now are you telling me that it is god's law that slavery is instituted in the federal government you're telling me in biblical times slavery just simply didn't exist and it came up it came upon once slavery has existed state. slavery is, has existed since the fall of man so how can you tell me okay. now that once okay. religious law was instituted okay. then it was different and I slavery actually and slavery there's a, there's a difference between there's a difference between a bond servant in the on, Bible. yeah why don't you lose your attitude and no, talk no, like no, a nice good. kid? No, actually, All right? I won't. The attitude, attitude is good. No, the, a, the, a, the attitude is good. Right? He's and putting his worldview on display. Yeah. Talking about now. What yeah. you're talking yeah. about yeah. is good. It's good. It's you good. have it's no good. clue. No, it's good. It's good. Except yeah, for I'm yeah, arguing yeah. here. So. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Look. So 
with slavery, what we had, okay, and we'll address God because that's a separate issue too, okay? I, I brought it in for a purpose, but we can staple that onto the back. So with slavery, you had a physical characteristic determining that human beings, it was okay for one human being to own another. 7-2 decision in 1857, okay, decided that it was okay based on the color of somebody's skin to murder, rape, maim, separate families. Well, just oh. Hold on, that? hold on, are you going to let me finish? That, okay, go that, ahead. Go ahead. That, yeah. You're telling me that once... The, the religious institution, the religious law was instituted. Then, okay. then somehow that was completely different. Is what you're telling? No, me. We're, we're talking about God's law being violated by the issue of slavery. But it wasn't. It was okay. you're telling me that slavery was not violating God's law before. Absolutely, it was. What are you talking about? Really? That's exact. No, no, no. So again, Hold I'm going to ask you, yeah. how can you equate abortion to slavery? Are you going to? Are you going to let me finish? Oh, okay. oh, please. I'm, I'm going all the way. Hour and a half. Okay, Come okay, on. cool, cool, cool. Now, seven two Supreme Court decision in 1857 determines that for a physical characteristic something that happens after birth or whatever before birth uh, uh, something that somebody's born with the color of their skin okay makes one group able to own another group makes one person able to dehumanize and own another person That's okay as a result of that as a result of that we had a war in which 750,000 people had to die in which we had another hundred years of segregation of, of horrible dehumanization characteristics when man decided in violation of God's law that it was okay because of a physical characteristic of a person to deny them their basic human rights. Now, fast forward, 1973, we have another Supreme Court decision. Eerily, as history echoes, as history repeats, another 7-2 Supreme Court decision in 1973, says that because of the baby's position in the mother, because of their size, level of development, environment, degree of dependency, a human being that is distinct, not part of the mother, that is living, that demonstrates metabolism, okay, and whole, okay, is now able to be killed, subjugated, murdered, owned, and has no rights whatsoever. And because of that, what we see since 1973, we see 60 million, 60 million human beings created in the image of God, murdered, killed, destroyed, one every 30 seconds. Now, if those aren't parallels, I mean, you don't have to sit, you don't have to sit there and admit it. The whole world, the whole internet sees your argument versus the argument that the abolitionists are bringing to you. So I just gave you, based on physical characteristics, see what we teach is that human beings are intrinsically valuable. Not even talk about the neuron. Intrinsically, oh, of course not. In intrinsically valuable. Valuable because of what you are. You are valuable because you are a human being created in the image of God. What your worldview says, secular humanism, what that says is that no, society can decide when a human being gets their rights. That's exactly what happened with slavery. And sure, religious overtones were used to justify slavery. And sure, religious overtones are often used to justify the abortion it's genocide. Thing, so have, hold on, hold on, wait a second. Let me, let, me, let me ask you a question. Can you see the, can you, be, can you be an honest broker and say that you see at least the parallel? The parallel you drew is between two different Supreme Court cases. No, I, I did way this, more than that. What started this was that you told me that once the institution of religious uh, religion and politics became a thing you told me that that is when this became an issue I never said As that I said well, God's watch, law I said yeah yeah it, dude, absolutely God. absolutely that we have this all on camera that's true I said God's law was violated with slavery because God's law was not instituted God's law was violated during the founding era and they didn't get everything right either they had a tree they had a flag with a tree on it. It was a it was a green tree, and that tree it said "Appeal to Heaven." So what parallel are now, you trying to draw? Now, what I'm here? saying, what I I I just drew a ton of parallels. I said that human beings were subjugated for slavery based on a physical characteristic. So you that believe they that weren't they're being subjugated based off of. I believe they're being murdered, yeah, because they're in the mother's womb. Yeah, because they're a human being in the mother's womb and society has decided they're not human. Slaves were hu are human beings that are subjugated because of a physical characteristic. So let me give you a hypothetical. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Somehow this yeah. this is yeah. successful. Worldwide, yeah. Yeah. Uh, abortion is, is abolished. Like, like you're, you're abolitionist, go ahead. not pro-life. Not at all. Not yeah. Correct, yeah. Well, so, so based on that, Let's yeah. say a, a pregnant mother falls down a flight of stairs. 
it's a miscarriage. Sure, 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 sure. Would that mother then be put on trial for that's murder? A miscarriage. Of course not. It. That's perfect. You said it. Let's it's say, a let's say, let's say a mother's raped. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. In a very low, poor household, maybe sure. below the poverty line, can't of course. can't sustain life. Would you? Would you? If she was to abort her fetus, it, and then it becomes a miscarriage. Why are you speaking Latin? Fetus. It's a dehumanization characteristic that society's embraced. You know what fetus means? It means little one. Little it means one. little one. It means little baby. Yeah. So, so you prefer me to refer yeah. to as a little one? Well, I'm just pointing out how society's dehumanized, just like they dehumanize blacks as property and things like that. Do you think the fetus so, yeah. is, a, is a word in the English language? Well, it's, a, it's, Actually, Latin. it's Latin. It's Latin. It's Latin. Latin. So, so, yeah. so I, I, it, there's no problem with you using it. I, I'm just pointing it as out. As I said, yeah, the yeah, fetus, and, and yeah, otherwise an unborn yeah. child. So you want to talk about the rape, right? Um, okay. Is is aborted? Yeah. That, that okay. mother goes and could get yeah. life in in prison. Did yeah, we're we're we're, sa we're saying we're saying that murdering your fetus, your baby, but, but, at any point in time for whatever reason is is you're guilty of first degree murder. So, now let me so ask yes, you a question. Is, yes, one hundred percent. Now let me, yeah, you punish you don't punish the child for the crimes of the father. Let me ask you a question. Are you for the death penalty or against the death penalty? Generally, I'm against. I'm, you're I'm, against the death penalty. I'm, okay, uh, cool. In Half in between. Now, here's my problem. Here's my problem, okay? I, I don't get how secular humanists don't understand. And when I say secular humanists, those who believe that, you know, your religious view shouldn't be here, that man should decide, and all that other kind of stuff, like what you said. So, secular... I'm in, I'm in, yeah. in the scope of being yeah. a public high school. Exactly. Yeah, religious beliefs have no, no... Yeah, but it is a religious belief that says that, and we'll explain that in a second. I don't tell you yeah. that your religion has no place in our society. Right. Your religion has no place yeah, a little box. in a public yeah. high school. Yeah, well, we, are we, that's where our worldviews come a, into there's conflict. There's a reason you can't yeah. be on the lawn. Like, yeah. I'm not alone. Yeah. You know what the reason is? Because that has been instituted. It is, this religion that y'all believe, secular humanism, is the dominant religion in the United States of America. It's a religion. Yeah, what it's a religion. And, and what a religion means is, is an ethical perspective on life, what's right and wrong. You just said it's wrong for us to be out here, correct? It's you said it's wrong. In front of a high school, yes. Okay, but wrong. yes, so that is an ethical belief. It determines right and it determines wrong. And so- It's an ethical belief. I think it's a pretty, it's pretty objective, objectively agreed upon statement that, that you have no business here. I don't really okay. think that's up to much Objective, to objectively agreed upon doesn't work within your worldview. You don't have an objective standard. All you have is select- My all worldview, don't talk as if you know my all, worldview. I'm yeah, not I do. here because yeah. you don't deserve yeah. to be out here. Yeah. You don't, you shouldn't be out here. Well, I'm who, not here pushing yeah, my, yeah. my religion. Well, yeah, actually your religion is being pushed. It's secular humanism. No one is, no yeah. one, no one is promoting me. I'm promoting yeah. me. Uh, you I understand. Yeah. should not be out here. I mean, I thought well, I based on abundance. I know based on That's what standard. Based on my personal. Based on what standard? Religion. Based on my standard. Based on everyone who's come out here. Standard. Based okay. on the fact that. That's religion. not true. There's some people that said that we have we had six or seven people that said that they were happy that, that we showed up here. One person said that they were. That world didn't strike you as being happy that you're here oh seven, oh tons seven, yeah tons yeah tons so. so is is it so that's a good conversation is morality based on majority opinion is that's that not, what morality is based what on right is. that's it that because you not said that is. okay not we always bring, no uh, we didn't yeah. say everybody get out here so we can have a majority yeah. that that therefore proves our but you point. still but We're you, this but I'm asking you why something is wrong and obviously your opinion that can't be it and and so majority opinion you just said you majority opinion that why, isn't it so why, why is it wrong is wrong yeah exactly but you have, but, uh, you have yeah. to ask someone yeah, yeah, you, yeah, don't go ahead. That, you don't know like, down that this is inappropriate this and it shouldn't be out one here, one, sec so, one second one second no it's it's completely appropriate yeah Based on the standard of God's law. What do you yeah. think is yeah. really do? Uh, it's the yeah. most. You kind of do have to as well. Hold on. Sorry. Go about this. Yeah. Like yeah. your end goal here. What is your end goal? My like, end goal. I'm not trying to like criticize. Your no, 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 no. And I, 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 I totally appreciate that. That's a very, very fair question. I appreciate your brother too here. Um, our end goal here is to be obedient to the standard of God and to light up the darkness. We believe that secular humanism is a dark area where man's opinion gets to determine that this is okay. And we believe that the rising generation, that the, that the students in America are being given this, not even given a chance to see the truth. That they are being they, that set, oh, one more second yeah, and you of yeah. course I'll, I'll let you talk for a million <laughs> I, I, I get a chance to speak to you bro yeah so so here's the thing so here's the thing we believe we see these schools tyrants 
in world history love ideologies that say there is no God or there's many gods and you can't decide which God to choose from so take the religion of secular humanism take pluralism and then take whatever the council of men at the top decide to dictate as right or wrong we say no 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 no. you don't have to be enslaved to that tyranny no, that's cool. you see what i mean yeah, that there's a standard go ahead sure. yeah that, I'm, i don't agree with what you're saying but that's not where i'm headed with it what sort of i'm saying is your goal here is for abortion to become illegal right here at this school no just that's, in general yeah 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 oh no uh, no actually no. no that's not fair either that's actually not fair either. that's that's a common do you want a piece of gum yes, I'm yeah. sorry, sorry. That is a, uh, that's a common, absolutely, brother. That's a common misperception. And actually, that's what a lot of, so, a lot of people so this are. Is I, this, is what, this is kind of where I'm confused here. Yeah. Because. Let, let me, let me answer that, though, and oh, then you okay. can go. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're not out here in a vacuum trying to fight abortion or just trying to make abortion illegal. Mm -hmm. We're trying to take down, we understand that it is impossible to make abortion illegal without taking the worldview down okay. that makes sure. abortion thinkable I understand that, okay right? yeah but with you being here yeah. and trying to convince a high school and we'll just say i'm pretty liberal and i would say most young students high school students are pretty liberal and will be again do you not think yeah. the best way to go about um because the end goal overall is for so that no one will get an abortion correct no the end goal is so that the world view yeah, yeah. that makes but this that, possible this is to, one thing occurs, yeah you would want we are shining. This oh is yeah this would be illegal and so would every exactly, other right? violation of sure, na god's sure, law sure. yeah but don't you think a better way to go about that would be to go to a town hall and talk to your congressman and we do all that.